is hot. The sun is brutal, right? Everybody's reaching for the sunscreen to protect their skin under Florida's rays, but there is one area we tend to neglect. It's our lips. Oh, let me tell you, getting your sunburnt lips is the worst. Doctors warn lips are more susceptible to sun damage than the rest of our face. Neglecting them could cause aging or even skin cancer. And joining us right now to talk more about it, our good friend, Dr. Matthew Knight, Knight Dermatology, downtown Orlando. Great to see you, you Doc. Too. Thanks for having me. I just did this a couple weeks ago. I burnt my lips, and oh, no. it was horrible. It's a horrible thing to do. Yeah, it sure can be. You know, our lips are very sensitive. The skin is thinner. It's aimed right at the sun. Yeah. When we see skin cancer on the lips, it's often more aggressive. It can spread more easily and how much time we spend trying to correct what people call smokers lines yeah. which aren't really smokers lines they're UV damage to lips that have occurred over the years there was a study done by some friends of mine that looked at people that went to the beach yeah. and asked them how much they put sunscreen on their lips only like a third of people remember to put sunscreen there so it's a really important issue I'm glad we're talking about yeah it. absolutely so what what do you recommend because I, I know a lot of the, the chapsticks nowadays they do have an SPF of some kind in them is that good enough it, it's just doing it really okay. and having a, a broad Broad sun protection strategy. You know, there was another study in the Telegraph of London yesterday looking at eyes. They asked a bunch of people to apply sunscreen, and only a small fraction of them remembered to put it around their eyes. Another area yeah. that's very thin, gets a lot of skin cancer, and gets crow's feet and other signs of aging. So it's not just about the sunblock, it's about sunglasses and hats and avoiding the sun during those peak hours of the day and doing all the smart things uh, to avoid sun exposure, especially here in the sunshine state. When skin cancer shows up, does it often show up literally on your lip? It can. Okay. Uh, and you got to catch that early because skin cancer in that area can be more aggressive. It's really pretty simple. It's just remembering to protect yourself. And men, we're the worst at it. We always forget to do it. So carry it with you. Use a sunblock, a sun stick that has zinc oxide or some other sun blocking agents in it. Use it regularly two or three times a day or when you're outside. And remember to do the other stuff too. Remember to wear the hat. Yeah. Remember to wear the sunglasses. Well, and you, you mentioned it's funny when you're outside because I think a lot of us think, oh, I'm going to the beach. I need to do it. It's really not just about going. Going to the beach, it has to be real. If you're even spend just a few hours outside, right? If you're working in the yard, that's a great point. Amy. Yeah. And when we live here in Central Florida, we get a ton of sun exposure that most of us are not genetically prepared for. And right. it's not just the burning rays of the sun; it's UVA, which are the everyday rays that go right through your car sun uh, shade and other things. And when you're on a cloudy day, those are the rays that cause the melanoma, that cause the basal cells, that cause the sun aging and the crow's feet and the yeah. smoker's lines. That's what you have to be careful about. So it's an everyday day strategy to protect yourself from sun exposure. I love this. A viewer sent me a note. She said, I, my dermatologist told me to make sure I put suntan lotion on my hands when I'm driving because she said, I, I, I didn't realize it, but I keep getting all these spots on my hands. And she said, I like what a good idea, you right? I believe it. it goes right through that glass and people okay. always forget about that. Now you can get tents to help protect yourself. It doesn't have to be dark tent. It could be regular tent, but that sun goes right through that glass and can not only cause skin cancer, but can make your hands look old. Yeah. So protect great yourself. idea. That was a good dermatologist <laughs> suggestion. Dr. Knight, thank you so much. How can our viewers find you? Uh, NightDermatology.com. Have an awesome weekend. All right.